Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you are someone who enjoys talking about film, I'm gonna click that subscribe button. So we are here once again going to the theater studio movie grill. It's a different location. We were trying to go to AMC or Cinemark, but you know, time kind of passed us. So we're gonna come over here to a different studio movie grill, see how it is here, but we're gonna come and see uh, Freaky before the theaters close up and everything closes up again because you know, we're in talks of going back into lockdown. Uh, we haven't been to the theater since we saw Tenant, and I'm excited to see this one. I do have to say, though, I have been hearing some pretty good reviews about it. And one of the things that I've noticed is that people are actually comparing it to Freaky Friday. I don't know. You probably didn't know that. Yes. Right? Um, which I honestly don't understand why. Because when I saw it, I immediately thought the hot chick. Because it makes more sense because it's a man switching with a teenage girl. Do you guys a later for another car, not trailer, car uh, movie review reaction deal. This is going to be kind of like when we did Tenant. She's masked up. I need to get mine. It's in the bag. All right. I'll see you guys in a few hours. <laughs> We just finished a freaky. What did you think about it, Desiree? Oh, this is not a good angle for me. <laughs> Let me move you guys over here further. Um, I liked it. It was pretty good. It's, it just has some weird stuff going on with it. Like, the police. It just cracks me up. But I really love how they played each other. As far as, like, swapping, not my favorite. Because I still think Jack Black and Jumanji did better. And I would still put Rob Schneider in... Uh, hot chick second and then Vince Vaughn will come in third. He still did a really good job but as far as, far as these grown men playing teenagers that's how because I think Jack Black nailed it in Jumanji. Even though I still liked him because I mean it's freaking Vince Vaughn he's like this big ass six foot whatever playing this like five foot and I, I like I, I think he nailed even like the little like <laughs> yeah. kind of deal. So I mean he's, he's nervous. Yeah he still did a really really good job. It's really really funny and it, it was a mixture of comedy and slasher. Yeah, I know I love me some slasher stuff. So if you're not into, like, people getting, like, torn apart, guts, <sighs> being solid in half, then not for you. Because there's a lot of that going on in this from the beginning. So I think, like, this movie actually makes fun, if I'm correct, makes fun of horror movies. <laughs> it has a lot of really cliche, especially, like, 90s, 2000s things to it. Like, even the way it starts with the whole at a house, drinking parents aren't home a rich family of course and then of course they all get picked off one by one guy he's all like you're black i'm gay we are so dead vince vaughn totally stole the show um that girl what's her name because she's from disney right disney channel i don't know their names oh well that girl she did pretty okay i mean once she did transform she wasn't nothing really spectacular oh also, like, one of the things that I don't like about these type of movies is when they try to get, like, the ugly girl. Because supposedly she was a nerdy, ugly girl. Yeah. I mean, this girl is freaking gorgeous. She's beautiful. And why they're making fun of her, they try to play the whole dorky with her wearing sweaters and having her hair down. It's kind of what they do with the whole dorky feel. Yeah. But it's kind of like the same thing when they did with She's All That. With She's All That. And, you know, that they're dorky and they're not the, the ugly person, but they're, like, really beautiful. And then they have their makeover and they're, like, bomb shit. And, and it re really this all takes place on one night, Friday the 13th. But even, like, the makeover, I mean, it wasn't really, like, a makeover. I mean, she just changed her clothes, really. I mean, put her hair up in a ponytail at that. It took her sister's jacket. It took, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, usually it's the opposite. They usually have their hair up in a ponytail or they have, like, a braid. And then they put it down and, like, magically they're a whole other person. Person. This was po opposite. She better in, in, in a point. Yeah. So yeah. So that's all I'm gonna say about Freaky. It was a really good movie. Totally recommend it. Um, why people uh, compare it to Freaky Friday? I don't know. This is where it's being compared to the most. I personally like. I, yeah. Just because it is body swap, but like again, it is a man with a teenage girl. So to me, it makes more sense to compare it to the hot chick. And I go with that one instead of uh, Jack Black from Jumanji because yeah. I really that's not the point of that particular movie per se. Because I mean, they're in a the game. Overall, I had a really really good time with it. Um, I think I'm gonna give it a medium popcorn when I hold the popcorn. I'm gonna give it a medium popcorn. I don't think it was absolutely great, but it was a good time. I'm glad that we came to see it. Um, I really wish it would have put it in like you know to rent like video on demand yeah um i'm pretty sure it's going to especially since 
they're in talk of everything going back into a lockdown. So I'm sure at some point it, it uh, it's going to get um, put on there sooner rather than later, I'm assuming. But if the theater is open in your town, in your city, and you're comfortable going to the theaters, I think it's worth the watch. I think it's, it's worth coming. Look, if y'all saw my tinted stuff, take your Clorox wipes and wipe everything down because when I... I'd be like, give, give me her always a damn for our stripes. It's like, wipe your shit down. So, you know, just do that. We ate. I put my mask back on. Oh, my makeup didn't look. This is the first time that, oh, you get the mask. The first time I actually have foundation on with the mask on. Apparently, it didn't work very well. I wanted to see how well it would it would last. But, yeah, it, it got all on there. So, it's not too bad, though. No. I thought it would be worse, but... I mean, overall, it was a really good movie. I do recommend it. Um, but if you're not comfortable going to the theater, just wait for it to come on Vito Demand or, you know, Netflix, wherever it is. It is a Bloom House. Well, since it is Bloom House, I'm going with it's probably going to go on Prime because since they have the whole Bloom House over there on Prime Video. So it probably won't be on Netflix. I'm, go I'm betting more towards Prime once it does get on the streaming service uh but that's all i'm gonna say if you've seen freaky or you want to see freaky let me know down below are you gonna like, go see it you're gonna wait for it to be streaming too scared I totally understand again only if you are comfortable going to theaters i think it's worth the watch but other than that just wait for it to come to your streaming service again i think it's gonna be prime uh but that's all i'm gonna say for now uh, of course don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new till next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye